Hi folks, AJ here at Sculpting on a dull day. We're at the top of a hill on Shooting Greenside where the tree hugging hippie trail goes from. It got a bit wrecked at the end because of storms, as you can see, some of the storm damage there. Um, but it's reopened with two different alternative routes one to the left just before the slab, so unfortunately, you miss out the pretty cool slab. Uh, and the other one goes over the slab and then goes to the right. I haven't ridden either of them, um, but it looks like the left one's more popular. So I'm going to try the left one first, and if we've got enough energy, I might push up, back up and try the right one. But yeah, let's give it a shot. It's great to have these trails open again. Not too many people riding it, as you can tell with the ferns. <laughs> Need a few more bodies. Oh man. Yeah, didn't get enough speed because of the ferns. Push up it. And I'm gonna have to check for ticks. But I don't think these trails have been open, reopened too long. But yeah, as I said, it's great because it's over the other side of the hill, so it's a separate hill, and also the slightly easier trails than the ones from Go. You know, all the big rock savvy ones. So it kind of allows a lot more intermediate people to come here and kind of learn up their skills maybe one difficult one and then these ones as well right we'll keep an eye out on the left here as i think we'll be diving off soon here it is the left Well, ready. Ooh, a little rock slab. Nice. Great that we found a, another little rock slab to replace the other one. What we got here? Ooh, a cool like ridge we're on top of. Oh my god. A bit more tacky than uh, it was before. Just a straight line shoot though. That's going to get pretty difficult in the future with more people riding it. A little jump on the right. And then left. And that's the road. So you turn right there to go down the rest of the hippie trails. And yeah, I'm going to push back up and give the other, shot, the other route a go. And I'll put it off to this one. See you soon. Okay, we're now at the split. And we're going to go right, which is the original tree hugging hippie. And then it kind of goes a variation after you go down the slab because of the trees falling. It's interesting that this left line didn't go down the slab because it's kind of what this trail is really kind of famous for. This cool slab up ahead, which is really good for beginners. It's kind of where you take anyone trying to learn the first slabs for. Um, it's a shortish one, but quite technical actually, more technical than some of the other ones. But yeah, let's go give it a shot, see what it's like. But yeah, I thought I think you definitely could use this and then kind of turn to the left but probably at the time they didn't know oh. you can see the trees up ahead so we're gonna go left there so definitely not as ridden as much and there's a few boggy bomb holes and some trees fell across the trail again a uh, bit more direct line, steep bit straight down. Got some ferns coming up. Definitely not as rid as much as the other one. Smash, smash, smash. Do my bit. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight line down. You can see the road. A little rock bridge at the end, which is nice. There you go. So that's the two alternatives to Young Heavy. Both good, both great that they're there. I think I can see why people are preferring the left one though. A bit more interesting. I think the one on the right that you just did has quite a bit more potential to be a bit wigglier near the bottom there, because that was a straight line. And there wasn't too much to the left and right. But no, uh, great job. Go ahead, put them in, open up that trail again. Hope you enjoyed that video. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.